Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we've recently done a video showing all of the fast jets, so transonic upwards, looking at their sustained roll rate, that's aileron only sustained roll rate, taking an average degrees per second roll rate. And we've got the figures down in our you know spreadsheet database and on the video if you want to go and look at that. But today we're looking at the same birds but with snap single snap roll rate. So this is what I consider a single 360 degree roll with full aileron and full rudder at a pre-designated altitude and speed. Now the speed and the altitude will always affect an aircraft's roll rate obviously. So all I'm saying is to keep everything fair and square all of these aircraft will be done the same. That's 450 KTAS at 1000 feet ASL. Other than that, it's going to be pretty easy to do, pretty easy re to record. Our usual test parameters will apply, so that's 20 degrees Celsius at sea level, 29.92 inches mercury Q and H. All aircraft will have 10% fuel and fuel burn will be turned off. So, let's get on with it. Got up to speed and down to altitude. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Right. <laughs> Vegan doesn't like snap roll at 450. Let's try the next one. Okay, three, two, one, go. Come on. Come on. Not bad. Roll out. Roll Not out. bad. Next. Okay, big Tomcats. Let's see how are the wings. Oh, they're out. Ah, damn. It's probably going to be terrible, but that's the agreed speed. Uh, let me just get down in altitude a little. Okay, three, two, one. Um, oh dear that was a thing it went the wrong way um, my tails ripped off no I've still got tails I uh, wasn't expecting that not going to lie let's try that again shall we that was really unexpected ok 3 2 I'm going to watch it from outside view see what's going on here 3 2 1 weird um well I can't for whatever reason I can't do a full rudder and aileron roll in a tonga out of interest let's see what happens with the wings go back three two one oh my god uh. you know what I'm giving up on the tomcat Plane that doesn't fall to pieces, please. Bingo fuel. Bingo fuel. Yes, Paddy. Three, uh, three, two, one. Nice, nice. Great little defensive snap turn there. Five. Little fast. Little high. Three, two, one. Oh dear. That was surprisingly really bad. Let's do an external view just to see what why it was upset. I thought really thought this was going to be the best one, but it just gets stuck halfway around, doesn't it? Oh well. Next, no idea if this is going to be any good. Three, two, one. Cool. Wow, saber! Oh my god, never happened. Pretty cool. Remember, this is this is not sustained. You rarely do well. You don't do more than one snap roll in a row, otherwise you're going to die like that. So um, we're just single snap rolls for obvious reasons. Hornet. I expect the fly by wire is going to get in the way here, but I was happy to be wrong. Three, two, one. Nah. So so. Next is Mirage. This has got to be awesome. Got to be awesome. Everything in the Mirage is awesome. Three, two... Apart from that fucking warning. Three, two, one, go. Yes! Beautiful. That's the best one. Can't beat a Mirage. MiG-15 is almost certainly be terrible. Great plane, great plane, but... Three, two, one, go. Ooh! Okay. Oh, I've gone into a spin though. I'm off the, I'm off the controls. I'm off the controls. Don't know what that was all about. 
I've heard that before. Right, don't do a snap roll in the MiG-15, it turns out. You get some weird effect. Hmm, interesting. Good bird. Really good plane at MiG-15. Yes. Three, two, one, go. That's actually pretty good. Actually pretty good, and I do love that plane as well. MiG-21, the Widowmaker. This is probably not going to go very well. Rarely does in the MiG-21, but we'll see. Three, two, wait for it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, hey, baby. Ah, look at that. Best one. MiG-21, best MiG. Flanka, probably crap because... Fuel, 1500. Not much of a roller, is it? Three, two, one, go. Over, 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 Pretty good. Over. Pretty good. Next. C33. Three, two, one, go. Over, 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 A little slower. A little slower. You guys did tell me why the 33 is a slower roll up. I've forgotten, I must admit. Uh, MiG 29, eh? You never know what you're going to get in this thing, so. Fuel, 1500. You never know. Fuel eight hundred. Usually doesn't end well for me. Fuel five hundred. Oh, stop it! Big Widowmaker. Fuel. maker. Stop going so fast all the time. You don't have to do everything at light speed, Mig Twenty Nine. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Didn't like it. Look at that. I'm, doesn't like it at all. Surprised about that. We're gonna have to get another look at that if we survive, which we're not. Let's gonna try that again, shall we? Ha <laughs> ha Is that a cool shot or is that a cool shot? I wish I could freeze frame that. Don't think I'm going to be able to, am I? No. Okay. Okay, let's look at the data. So these are roll roll rates. So these are aileron only rolls. Uh, so these are the fast jets, should I say, here. These are aileron only rolls, 1000 uh, ASL and 300 KTAS. And here is 600 KTAS, 1000 ASL. This is aileron only, but it's 600 KTAS. So this is fast. This is relatively slow. Warbirds, this is Warbirds, aileron only, sustained at 220 K test, 2000 ASL. I'm not sure uh, why I did it 2000 instead of 1000, it's a bit silly of me. It won't make a massive difference anyway, 1000 feet. So uh, it's roughly comparable in terms of uh, altitude. And here is a snap roll for the Warbirds, so aileron plus rudder. Uh, at 220 KTAS, 2000 ASL. I should say the aileron only ones are looking at sustained roll rates, so multiple roll rates, and then averaged for the roll degrees per second. The snap rolls you only do once because you can't really do more than a snap one, two, one snap roll in a row before. You know, you just wouldn't do it. The whole idea of the snap roll is um, we want to, we've got a bad guy behind us, we want to uh, rotate a roll as quickly as possible and lose as much speed as possible to force an overshoot. So you've got a mixture of aileron, rudder, and elevator in there as well to scrub off that speed. Um, anyway, sorry. Uh, here is today's. Uh, we've got aileron plus rudder, single snap roll, 450k to 1000 ASL. So the king is the MiG-21. Uh, felt the best, and it is the best. 1.61224 degrees per second. Why is it so good? It's very skinny, so that roll, uh, very small wingspan. Uh, not much resistance in terms of roll. And not, ooh, not a huge rudder authority as well. So it, everything just works for that. Mirage, the same reasons. It's uh, small, it's got a low wingspan. It's a delta. I expected that to do well. MiG-19P. Uh, it's got a small wingspan again. Uh, it does seem to do very well, this MiG-19B. I don't know why it does so well all the time. But for whatever reason, it's very good. Uh, same as the Mirage 2000. Uh, 182 degrees per second. Wow, flanker. I don't know, that was unexpected. Flanker is big, heavy, lots of rotation and inertia there. Uh, big wingspan. Must be the biggest wingspan here, probably. Uh, which is not good for roll. However, we've got that massive, you know, stabilizers, stabilators, whatever they're called at the back, that really give most of the roll authority and they're big, thumping great things that just powers it through that roll. Um, so I guess it's all about authority in terms of the 27. And uh, uh, it doesn't have fly by wire and a roll anyway, I don't think. So nothing was getting in the way. 173 degrees per second, very good. F 15C, probably the same reasons. Big authority on those rear surfaces forces it round, even though it's big and heavy and big wingspan, 163. SU-33, never as good as the SU-27. Uh, I forgot what the reason is. You guys know this, you've told me before. It's something to do with those rear stabilators or, so or something. 
Uh, you guys will, will let me know. Um, the AV8B did well, I think, probably because it's um, it's small and a small wingspan, a pretty stable aircraft. So one for one, but it did okay. Not, I don't know about well. MiG-15 was a real surprise at 2.71 seconds. Where is that compared to the Sabre? It was almost identical. Look, so uh, yeah, pretty well. F-86. Uh, 2.9 seconds, so we're going to be a bit slower now. Uh, beat the F-18s. The F-18 is sh pretty shockingly bad at uh, these uh, these snap rolls at 2.9 seconds. I could just feel the, uh, the 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 computers in the background telling me no. I don't want you to rip the wings off and slowing me down. One, two, four degrees per second. Mig 29A really bad considering it should have been good. You got lots of authority there. Um, yeah, wingspan's not massive. I would have thought it'd been better, but one, two, four. F five was the shock of the day. It has everything going for it in terms of roll. Where did it get? Oh wow, it did really bad in roll right here as well. I was not using. I was not using the roll D restrictor. Um, maybe that's why. Maybe it's because I wasn't using the roll D restrictor. But again, I don't really want to add aids like roll D restrictors. You know, I just want its basic roll rate. Um, and it was just really bad. We don't know why. And now remember that as well as using roll and uh, um, rudder for these, we're also using elevator as well because you know the aim of this thing is not just to t not just roll and snap roll. You're trying to slow yourself down um, to to you know increase your yeah, closure rate beyond what's possible for the other guy. And that elevator can can mess some airplanes up. And I think it was messing up the F5. Uh, I think it was just over alphering, and that's probably what it felt like. It was struggling with uh, it's just over alphering and messing its snap roll up. AGS 37, it felt the same as well. It felt like it too, had too much elevator authority in it, or you know, pitch authority in it, and it felt like it was messing it up for that as well. So it, that just couldn't handle a snap roll. Same of those, same of those two guys. Uh, the F 14, interestingly, just couldn't do a snap roll. Um, it, it must have a completely different flight. I mean, it's possible that all these flight models are wrong and model that snap roll wrong. I don't know. Probably no one out there will really know uh, because they wouldn't be allowed to do it because in real life it would damage the aircraft, wouldn't it? Um, and the F-14 just it wouldn't do it. it. It just got halfway around and then the the flight control was inverted. So it's possible that these are right and this is wrong or this is right. Maybe these is wrong or maybe they're all right or maybe they're all wrong. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to know out there, but it's interesting talking point to do these kind of things and um, see what you guys think why can't it do that snap roll at 450k tower um, again it we're probably upsetting it too much with especially with the pit added pitch in there this one here has got probably the biggest um, authority of all of these aircrafts in terms of roll You've got a whopping great rear surfaces that are turning it round upsetting it putting too much pitch in remember we've got no fly-by-wire at all yeah that's right we've got no even a pitch we've got no fly-by-wire here uh, just basic dampeners and well, AFCS um, so it's possibly we're just overloading this plane and then I tried it faster and it just ripped itself to shreds which really annoys me the F-14 I just uh, just yeah anyway um, I've had that rant before haven't I uh, but so this is interesting so I'd like to you guys to explain to me why the F-14B can't do the snap roll within these parameters it's neither good nor bad it's just how it is right I hope you enjoyed that um, let's get some talking points going see you later